Hey Perlin, how much is the Tesla Model 3 in Singapore? Well, the standard range plus starts at about 113k and then the performance range goes up to about 155k without COE. Are there incentives in owning a Tesla in Singapore? Well, of course, because it's an electric vehicle, the incentives are actually bigger and better. Oh, okay, how much rebate can I get? Um, I think you can get about 45,000 altogether in rebates. Mm, how's the road tax like for the Model 3 in Singapore? Well, according to their official website, the estimate is about 2,500 per year. Is this cheaper than other EVs in the market? I would say that the Teslas are pretty competitively priced and there are much more expensive continental EVs out there as well. Okay, let's talk about maintenance. Are there workshops in Singapore trained in servicing and repairing EVs? Yeah, there are a whole bunch of workshops that specialize in full EV servicing as well as other hybrid options. How about the battery life? Well, current Model 3 owners claim that the battery can last up to about 8 years with about a 1% degradation in battery every 10,000 kilometers travelled. What about car insurance for EVs? Of course there's still going to be insurance, it's just maybe slightly more expensive than the traditional cars. Okay, how about the panoramic sunroof in our hot climate? And yeah, of course, the sunroof definitely lets heat in, so maybe it's not the best idea to park your car underneath the scorching hot sun. Let's talk about the COE. Well, under Cat B or Open Cat, you're going to have to deposit 10k before Tesla does the bidding for you. Can I trade in my old car for a Tesla? Um, yeah, you can. Um, and more instructions will be available once the first deliveries commence. What will I notice the most since there's no engine sound? For me, I feel like the tires are the loudest sound, followed by the high-speed fans near the front. Um, what about the build quality with this car? Well, let's just say the build quality has improved significantly since it first launched. Mm, power and handling? Mm, there's a total power of 239 kilowatts, as well as a total torque of 420 newton meters, and the handling's pretty sporty. Mm, is the connectivity subscription expensive? Well, there's a standard option and a premium option, and they start at $20 per month. Mm, should I wait till 2022 to get a Tesla? Mm, given how fast they're improving, if you're worried about manufacturing issues, then maybe it's best if you wait just slightly longer. See you!